In this presentation, we'll study about data representation using signed magnitude or you can say signed number representation. Signed number representation. We know that in decimal numbers, we use positive sign and negative sign for denoting the numbers. This positive and negative sign representation this is called signed representation this is called signed representation similarly we can classify the data representation in two categories one is magnitude another is complement in magnitude we can classify into unsigned numbers these unsigned numbers are the positive binary numbers and these signed numbers are both positive and negative binary numbers and next category is complement numbers in these complement numbers there are one complement number and two's complement numbers which we have already studied in our previous lectures and we also done subtraction using ones and two's complement representation we know that digital circuit understand only two symbol 0 or 1 so we must use these same numbers same symbols to indicate the signed numbers if we want to represent unsigned numbers so these numbers will be suppose we want to represent this plus 5 so the binary equivalent of this plus 5 is 101 and minus 5 we can't represent it we can't represent it in unsigned numbers so in unsigned numbers only positive numbers are represented if we want to represent the signed numbers so in signed number generally an additional bit was used generally an additional bit is used as a signed bit and placed as msb suppose we want to represent this sign bit so this msb bit will this is the msb bit this msb bit will represent the sign of that number and the remaining bit will represent its magnitude so we place 0 or 1 at the place of this msb 0 is used for positive numbers and 1 is used for negative numbers suppose we want to represent this plus 5 in signed numbers so the equivalent for this is 101 and we place a 0 bit to represent the sign of this bit these are the magnitude bit and this is the signed bit similarly if you want to represent minus 5 so 101 is the equivalent number for this 5 and we will place 1 to represent the minus sign. So this is the way how we represent the signed numbers. For example, if we want to represent this plus 11. So equivalent of 11 is 1, 0, 1, 1. And to represent this sign, positive sign, we will place here 0. This is the positive 11 or plus 11 and if you want to represent minus 11 so 1011 and will place 1 here this is the signed representation of this minus 11 now there is a limit for maximum number representation if you want to represent a n bit number then how many maximum positive numbers and how many maximum negative numbers these are represented by plus 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1 this is positive number 2 minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1 this is the range for n bit of number that we want to represent the signed numbers suppose n is equal to 5 so we'll put 2 raised to the power 5 minus 1 minus 1 
टू माइनस टू रेज टू दी पावर फाइव माइनस वन माइनस वन सो दिस कम्स टू रेज टू दी पावर फोर माइनस वन सो इट मीन्स दिस इज सिक्सटीन माइनस वन टू दिस इज सिक्सटीन माइनस वन सो प्लस फिफ्टीन टू माइनस फिफ्टीन सो If n is equal to five, then the maximum number that can be represented by a sine beta plus fifteen and minus fifteen. Let us take some homework problems. First is plus nine and minus nine. Second is plus sixteen and minus sixteen. Represent this in signed magnitude signed magnitude that's all for this presentation if you have any doubt write in the comment box